So I designed this medieval fantasy sword first in 2D and then made this 3D version. And I'm really excited to share the whole process with you. Pros often combine polymodeling tools and sculpting tools to create really clean results quickly and efficiently. So I'm gonna block out the sword in Blender for that and then add details and texture in Nomad. So in Blender, I'm gonna drag and drop my painting as reference, lower the opacity, and then add a plane. Rotate it 90 degrees and in edit mode start to rearrange the vertices like this to match the reference. Then add a mirror modifier and check clipping. Then extrude the edge like this and repeat this till the base of the blade. Then make this part wider and adjust the position of the vertices. Then select the edges and extrude them. Draw the edge with the knife tool. Then in side view, I'm gonna make this area a bit curved. Apply mirror. Fill this gap and select these faces and bring them forward like this. Then move it off center and mirror in the Z axis. Then extrude these edges to complete the blade. Then add another plane to start to make the cross guard the same way. All I'm doing is extruding the edges and rearranging vertices following the reference. Very basic 3D modeling tools. In this stage, I'm just gonna make the simple block out. I'm not worrying about all these details. Here, I'm gonna add an edge loop and extrude edge again for this narrow part. Add a couple of edges and match the reference. Extrude them on this side. Then extrude and rearrange vertices for this curved area. Then push them backward and bridge. Then extrude and bridge. Add mirror, bring those vertices in the center and extrude the remaining edges. Then I'm gonna bring in a lattice and add a lattice modifier to taper this area. Then apply and mirror the whole thing. Then add a cube. Scale these vertices for taper and add an edge loop and move it. Then add a mirror modifier. For this part, I'm starting with a plane again, rearranging the vertices. Then add mirror and start to extrude. Then apply and fill this gap and add a solidify modifier to add thickness. Then set the origin to center. Adding a cylinder and then scaling this lower part and adding bevel. Duplicate and rotate it and then adjust its shape for this part. Then add another cylinder for this creep area. and add a few edge loops and scale them to make this middle area narrower. Add a plane, rotate it 45 degrees, inset and delete the face. Then add an edge loop and bring it forward and add mirror. 
and we have finished the block out. But before we go to Nomad, when I subdivide the model, the edges lose sharpness. You can either add edge loops to keep these edges sharp or since in this case I don't really care much about the topology, I will add edge creases. I'm selecting the edges I want to keep sharp. And then right click and add edge creases and set the value to 0 0.9. And now when I subdivide it, it gives me beautiful clean result with sharp edges. I'm gonna do the same for this part and other parts too. And then simply export the model as OBJ. Back in Nomad, I'm gonna import the model. Then I'm gonna grab the move brush and make this part thinner. I think it looks better design wise. Next add a cylinder and make it shorter and enable hole and subdivide for more resolution. Then using the move brush to adjust the shape and flatten brush to create these natural bevels like this. Then clone it and adjust the shape with the gizmo. I'm making sure to vary the size and shape of these wraps. It looks more interesting. Then I'm adjusting the shape of this pommel a bit, making sure it's not completely straight to add a bit of character. Then subdivide for more resolution and mask this for the ribbon. Then voxel remesh and clean up these edges with flatten brush. Then add a sphere for the knot. Adjust its shape with move and flatten brush. Then adding a tube tool for the ends. Then voxel remesh and add bevels with flatten brush. Then adjust the shapes a little more. Then I'm gonna voxel remesh this shape and with the stamp brush and this fall off I'm gonna create this depressed area for the gemstone. Add a cone, set the X division to 4 and voxel remesh. Add smooth from the operation menu and then manually add some subtle bevels. Then I'm gonna trim this pointy end with the trim tool. Voxel remesh, add bevel and mirror in Z axis. Then for the cross guard, add more resolution. Then use the crease brush and this fall off with lazy rope to draw straight and clean lines like this. Now I'm gonna add mask with polygon selection, invert it and then push this area in with the gizmo to create the fuller of the sword. Then on a new layer, with the stamp brush and this alpha I made from my design, I will add the inscription. 
then adjust the offset value. For edge wear and damages, I'm mostly using Art Brushes for Nomad by Nick Trujillo. You can find them online. So I'm gonna use the Art Flatten Brush for the edge wears. Adding these will make the edges look more natural and less CG. Now I'm gonna add some scratches with the orb slash brushes. Then adding some damages with the round alpha and stamp brush. You can use the clay brush for this too. Then I will enable radial symmetry and add natural looking bevel for this part. I'm varying the thickness of the edge wear to make it look natural. Also, adding some scratches with the orb slash brush. Here I'm adding dents with the clay brush without alpha. Now for the holes in the wrap, I'm using the trim tool. Then voxel remesh and carefully use the orb flatten brush. Here I'm repeating the process. Down here I'm adding this design element with the crease brush and radial symmetry. Adding edge wear with flatten brush. Then using the orb slash brush to make this damage. Then I'm just drawing with the orb crack brush to extend this damage. Adding bevels using orb flatten brush. These are actually design elements not damages. Adding some hammered metal effect. Adding more damages here and there. Then voxel remesh and add edge wears. You can use the lazy rope stabilizer for straight lines. Adding some battle damages. The scratches and damages are mostly diagonals because it looks more interesting. Then I'm using the trim tool to cut these areas. I'm also adding some subtle bevels to these as well. The overall details in this are subtle. If I add too much edge wear and damages, it might look too old, which is not something I want for this. So it depends on the story you are trying to tell. Now in PBR mode, I'm adding a gold material with medium roughness and applying them to these parts. Then on a new layer, I'm adding some color and roughness variations. Otherwise, the material looks too flat. And I'm doing that for these parts as well. Then on a third layer, I'm adding a really bright color with shininess for edge wear and variations.
For the blade, I'm picking a bluish metal material. Then paint this fuller area with darker color. I'm also varying the roughness. Then erase these areas. Also painting the crevices with darker color. Then add some dirt near this area with a brownish color. I'm using my own painting brushes for textures. I will make a tutorial on this. Then finally add some brighter color and less roughness. Then I'm gonna add a plane and place it here. Check always unlit, add bluish color, adding color for this wrap. And on this wrap I'm adding some noise with my paint smoke brush and noise brush. I'm gonna clone the gemstone, name it glass. Set the material to refraction. Add blue color to the gem. Select the glass again and increase these values and lower the interior value. And this is what the final result looks like. Check out this playlist for more tutorials like this and subscribe if you found it useful. I will see you in the next video.